Hello, Soul Commander here. We're reviewing today the Acaso uh, Low Power Consumption Wi-Fi Battery Doorbell. Been waiting for this one. My only mistake is I did not order the special batteries for it, so I won't be demonstrating how it actually works, but we're going to go over some very important stuff, things that you'll probably want to know about before you purchase this. And let's just get right into it and unbox this and get started. Very nice, kind of a heavy duty box. Good foam protection in there. And get this doorbell out of here. And it looks like we have some drywall anchors, an Allen wrench, some screws for mounting. I guess. Oh yeah, there's a security screw in here too, and I will tell you about that here in a moment. Let's um, get this apart. And this is, um, it's a plastic, but it's a, it's a pretty heavy duty plastic, if you will. So it's fairly durable, I would say. I want to get into um, what you're looking at here, first of all, on the outside. You can mount this doorbell any which way you want, I suppose, this way, or they show it being mounted this direction. So your door, doorbell's on the bottom, but um, we'll look at it this way. And starting with the very top here, this little protrusion, little bulb area there at the top, that is your IRLED or your PIR, and what that basically does it's an infrared light, and the PIR um, detects uh, movement, and then it will send an alarm uh, to your smartphone device. And this will work with the iOS or the Android operating system. So works on both things. You do have to download the app. Uh, they tell you in the manual uh, where um, you can get that and what the app is called. It's actually uh, one word. 2C, T-O-S-E-E -E is the name of the app, and you can get that from the Google Play Store or the iOS App Store and download that to your smartphone. And then, let's see, you can see there's a little circle right there by my thumb. What that is is the light sensor, so it detects the amount of light that's outside, and it will automatically switch over to infrared when there's not enough light so that you can see who's at your door or who's moving around outside of your door. So that's what that is for. And then the larger area here, of course, is your lens, what picks up uh, all the images and whatnot. Right below that, that right there is your microphone because you can also talk to anyone that's at your front door or your side door. And on the very bottom, is where the speaker is at and there's a little screw hole right there too and I'll tell you about that in just a little bit moving down here of course that's your button to press when you're coming to somebody's door and then there's also an indicator light on there as well so you press that and it rings your doorbell now this can um, work actually with a chime that they also sell and uh, you can pair the device to that. I have ordered that chime. I just don't have it yet. Otherwise, I would include it in this review. I believe it's coming sometime this week, but uh, I don't have it yet. So you can also, besides the batteries that you need to purchase for this device, you, you can also hook it up to your existing wiring. So if you're replacing a doorbell, and it's one of those light-up doorbells and has some low power going to it, you can use those wires and you can hook it up into uh, this device and I'll show you that now. I'm going to move around to the back. Uh, there, This is kind of a rubber material right here so when it goes against the wall uh, it you know it keeps moisture and whatnot out so it, it, it's kind of a nice little feature there. Of course you have your holes here that your screws are going to go through that are in this bag and if you're going into some drywall or some sort of material that you need a little bit more of an anchoring they do provide the four plastic um, anchors there as well as the screws um, for you um, for that so yeah those are your four holes you might wondering you might be wondering what this channel is for this is where 
I was talking about your wires, your existing wires. If you wanted to wire it up using those from your existing you know, doorbell, uh, you can channel these wires up along here. And it's a little hard to see probably on the video, but uh, the one wire can lay right in that channel. This other wire can lay in this channel. And then there's an area right here that they can go underneath. And then they hook up to these two um, areas right inside. And to get this off, you just slide it down and it pops right off I think <laughs> here we go and this is what you see on the inside this is what you'll actually use to mount on the side of the uh, wall of the house uh, you'll use this plate and you'll run those screws right through there uh, so these wires come up through here and there's some very tiny screws here and that's where you will hook your wires up to and I understand those wires then will power your batteries, keep them charged as well, from what I understand um, with this device. And this plate right here is the contact area um, that, that touches onto the device and that, of course, leads to the circuit board inside here and keeps everything charged and, and whatnot. So while we're looking at this, we might as well look, look at the rest of, of what you see here on this device. Reset button. So if you're having trouble pairing it to your chime or whatever and you want to go back to factory defaults, you press that button down for three to five seconds and it will reset to factory defaults. There's your contact points right there um, that make contact to the plate that's mounted on the side of your wall. And there is a USB port here too. They do not give you a USB cord, but understand that uh, you can you know, take this unit off and you can plug that in and charge your batteries. Now these take batteries, speaking of the batteries, these they go here in this compartment here and they take the special 18650 batteries. Uh, it takes two of those of course as you can see and they're saying if you have 10 minutes of, of use of this every day the batteries should last you, they say they should last you six to eight months before you have to do a recharge on them and from like i said from my understanding you can plug it plug this into a usb port and charge your batteries that way and i'm i don't plan on doing that uh, i'm going to get a charger a special charger of course you have to get a special charger when you get those uh, 18650 batteries and so i'm just going to you know charge the batteries in my charger every six to eight months i plan on using this um, just with the batteries itself, just the Wi-Fi that way um, is what I plan on uh, doing with mine when I get it hooked up. I want to move back down to this uh, hole right here that I was showing you. They uh, provide a, an Allen wrench and this is a little Allen screw and so when you put this back together and slide it back up you can see there's a hole there and there's a hole there and the screw of course goes through here and it stops anybody from you know trying to take this off they would have to have an Allen wrench uh, to do that to take the screw out of the bottom of here and the only thing I noticed here um, was that the screw that is in here if I show it to you here it's not long enough to it, it's long enough to keep them from taking the plate off but I'm not quite sure why the manufacturing company didn't make the screw a little bit longer because it goes so far but it actually doesn't go into this more heavy duty area here there's a hole in the bottom of this larger piece of plastic and that screw is not long enough to reach up into that area and I would think that it should of course I didn't design this but um, I would think that would give you some even more added security if that screw was a little bit longer. Like I said, it is an Allen screw. They give you a little Allen wrench, so that's nice that they do that. Um, and then all the other thing I wanted to cover too, and I'm not going to take this apart, but there's some screws here so you can take this whole plate off. And if you want to put an SD card in here, you can put a 32 gigabyte SD card. That's the maximum size that you can put in there. Um, so... Uh, if you're interested in doing that, you know, that's uh, something that you might want to think about purchasing as well is a 32 gigabyte SD card. 
Otherwise, um, this does have some memory um, to it and uh, actually will um, record um, every 15 seconds. It will record on the uh, SD card. So anyway, that's that. And just to go over the rest of the uh, unit just a little bit more thoroughly here, the resolution on this, if you're wondering, is 1280 by 720 and it has a view angle of 166 degrees. So Wi-Fi uh, support is actually 802.11, the B, G, and N uh, frequencies. And um, you'll get notifications. So for instance, what I mean by that, if somebody passes in front of your door, this will send a notification to you could get annoying if you have a lot of people around your your place, but I'm sure you, I haven't checked the app out, but I'm sure you could probably turn that feature off. But you will get a notification within two seconds if anybody passes in front of your uh, doorbell. There, you'll get um, uh, the wake up um, wake up time on this is within 600 milliseconds. So what that means is if you know somebody passes by and it's in sleep mode. It will wake up within 600 milliseconds and uh, do its thing. Um, if you push the button, it also wakes up within 600 milliseconds. And that's for the PIR detection as well. Um, and will um, send out to your mobile phone um, within 600 milliseconds a notification to you. So it's 2.4G. And um, sorry, it uh, doesn't do any other um, bands there on the Wi-Fi, but 2.4G is still good. And that's pretty much it about the whole device. It does come with a nice little manual that is pretty self-explanatory, and uh, it's a quick user manual, actually. And uh, show that to you here real quick. It's fairly good size print. You can read. Nothing too tiny, which I always complain about. But yeah, nice little manual for it as well. So that is your Acaso video doorbell. I've owned some Acaso products. I still have some Acaso products and I've never had one fail me yet. I've got a camera that I really like. There's dash cam as well. I really like and uh, I'm a big believer in the Acaso products. So if you're looking for something that's under $100, this is your device. This is what you need to get. I highly recommend it and hope that uh, you liked the video. And if you did, be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel because I do lots of uh, different reviews on different things, whether it be quadcopters, anything electronic I'm into. So you'll, you'll find all kinds of reviews on my channel. But hope you like this video. And this is Soul Commander saying, take care of yourself and be good to each other. And we'll see you next time. Bye.